Guys, what's going on? It's Oregon Motorcycle bringing you another awesome episode. Coming to you straight out of the Oregon Motorcycle headquarters today. Today we're working on the YSR 50, that is. This is my YSR 50, and as you can see, it's missing the front end. Whoosh. Got some forks right here that I took off. Uh, it's kind of unique the way these forks mount up to this bike here. Um, and uh, we'll go over that when I install them. But we're replacing the fork seals. I didn't get the covers, the dust covers. I probably should have because these are dried and cracked. But I got the fork seals right here. And I got some fork oil right there. I went with 15 weight. It was somewhat recommended. Doggy doggy. So one interesting thing about these forks is uh, one, only one of them has a spring in it. So one is, it's this one right here because it's kind of hard to press. And then this one is totally, completely just wonky. I mean, there's nothing there. So, uh, and different amounts of oil go in each one. So that'll be interesting. Um, so yeah, like I said, these are kind of unique, kind of unconventional compared to other ones, but it was real easy to get them off. It was just one clamp here and then this top bolt or nut, whatever you want to bolt, I guess. Um, and there's really nothing like on the bottom that you can disassemble it looks like at the moment so it looks like i'm going to take this off and then there was like an allen thing in there or whatever so i don't know let's jump into it so th this just kind of unscrews and this is the one with the spring in it so you can see in there there's like an allen something so i'm going to uh, try to unscrew that but first i'm going to see if i can pour out some oil So I have a feeling um, that this nut or whatever in here is what's holding the spring in there. So I don't know if this is going to pop out or what. I wonder if this could be used as a preload adjustment. Okay, there it is. Okay. So it looks like there's a retaining clip in there.
All right, guys, I got the rebuilt um, front fork here. And this is the side without the caliper mount. So this is going on the left-hand side. And uh, like I was saying earlier in the video, it's real super simple the way these mount up. So um, I'm just gonna show you here. You can see the lower part of the triple tree or whatever uh, is down there. That's where the actual clamp is. And then we're just gonna slide it through the top here. And then we're gonna put this nut back on, which has an O-ring, which seals the deal. And then we'll clamp it up. All right, we'll get that snugged up. All right, so I got this snugged up, which is a 17 millimeter. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, go ahead and clamp this one down. This is a 15 millimeter here. And uh, after I get this one clamped down, and then you can go back up top and snug that up. All right, so the same applies for the other side. We just slid it in and clamped it down or whatever. And as you can see, these aren't aligned properly, but you guys can just take them and spin them to where they need to be aligned properly. And um, we'll go ahead and get that front tire in and get it all bolted back up together. And then uh, I'm gonna change the transmission fluid in this thing right now. And then uh, we'll go take it for a test drive. This is pretty basic um, install, you guys. You just need a pair of um, snap ring pliers and to get the seals. Um, I should have replaced these. Don't knock me too hard. I'll order these and, and pull it out. It's like basically a 10 minute job to replace these. So um, it's really easy to work on this bike. So um, yeah, I'm curious to see how this bike feels uh, now with the proper uh, operating suspension in the front. <laughs> 